What's up quarter pounders? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Wave Potter, and today I have a request from one of my very special channel members, Alan from Dicodec, who you may or may not have heard of. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm doing a live stream this Sunday with Dicodec, Ryan Mir, and Champ of Medium. If you're interested in that, I'm very excited. I'll make sure there's a link to that below. But Alan requested that I check out the cover they did of a baby metal song. But before that, I want to check out the actual original song. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm able to put this reaction up. But this is Baby Metal Doki Doki Morning. I just want to get a feel for what the song's like before I go into watching a cover of it. So let's do this. Oh. Get down. Fun. There's that classic baby metal juxtaposition with the cutesy kawaii opening and then just slams into this metal breakdown. Really cool arpeggiated synth there too that was over the guitars. Just that bright sparkly sound. Whoops. I gotta get rosy watching baby metal. She might find them very interesting. Oh, okay, so this video is from 2012. Very interesting. Okay, so this is only two years into their career. Cool video. Very creative. Ooh. Fun change up. I can see why baby metal is so successful because they literally can appeal to anyone. Metalheads, musicians, people who are super into cool musical arrangement, and they got this pop combined with it to make it fun for people who don't care about the music, they want the experience. Very interesting. I like that offbeat hi-hat rhythm. Really cool riff. Whoa, that is some trippy video editing. Fun. Okay, I'm very curious about the Kami band and how it relates to this right now. Um, okay, so Koba Metal is the mastermind behind finding baby founding the band wanted to launch an idol slash heavy metal fusion group in 2009 after he was impressed by Suzuka Nakamoto's performance in her group Karen Girls. Huh. I'm trying to find where it talks about how the band came into play. Looks like none of the Kami band members started till 2013. Okay, I'm so new to the baby metal universe that... <laughs> I have so much to learn, and it seems like they have a very complicated history. If there's any little gems about their history that you'd be willing to share with me, please comment them below. I'm very curious to see what Dicodic does with this. Something tells me Alan's gonna be wearing a dress. <laughs> 
<laughs> Something like that. <laughs> They definitely were starting to craft their sound though. That was a cool transition from the metal into this electronic program drums. <laughs> and the pitched vocals, what an interesting sound. So I wonder who these guys are. Okay, so is that the band? I mean, obviously. That double kick that comes in at the end of all these courses is insane. Cool. Really cool. It was such a fun, happy, bouncy vibe. That's really interesting to combine that with metal, which is usually not as bouncy and fun. Another cool fusion band. All right, so let's hear what Dicodec did with this. Oh, nice. You even got the animation? I'm very curious to ask Alan how he went about making this animation like almost perfectly like the original. I suppose building it from scratch? Dang. Okay. And I like the guitars in the intro, the guitar harmony. <laughs> Caught me off guard again. Oh. <laughs> that face. <laughs> oh, that's a nightmare feel right there, man. <laughs> oh. This is so cool. I love how they literally used the same techniques. They got the band in the background. I'm guessing they made this video, this background footage and then also green screened themselves dancing in front of it. This is such a high effort production. Alan puts so much more effort and time into making covers than I do. I record my parts, I have all my frames in place, and then I export it. He legit recreates music videos and is a much more experienced audio engineer than I am. Really knows his stuff, so it sounds amazing too. Cool. Zoom in the eye with the logo. It's crazy the amount of effort put into this. Really recreating the vibe and feel of the original music video. Standing up. Oh. I wonder if Alan would let me pick his brain about how he put this together. I gotta have Alan on my live stream someday, very soon. Alan, if you're up for that, I know you already are. We just haven't set a date yet. <laughs> we should do that. I 
I can't imagine how long this took to edit. I wonder who edited this. Edited by Subharmonic City. Dang. So like they legit go all out for making these videos as high quality as possible. Hiring someone to edit it. I mean, it's an investment, not only time, outfits, making the actual cover, which is super high quality in itself, super well done, but then also investing real money into the production to make everything as equally high quality as it can be. Wow, I'm blown away by the quality of this video. I'm gonna be all starstruck on Sunday now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm gonna miss Eric and like I totally get it the whole commitment thing it's a really difficult thing to be committed to something like this and you got to make the decision that's best for you and your family and your life but I'm definitely gonna miss Eric even though I only got to meet him once he was a super sweet guy Such a great recreation. <laughs> wow. Just the amount of work, I can't even imagine. Wow. Even got that final pose. Wow. I can't even... This is the kind of art that goes underappreciated. Seriously, go support this video. Go pound like on it. I'll make sure there's a link below because this is just next level stuff when it comes to effort put into making a cover. So cool. Once again, thank you so much, Alan, being a channel member and for helping to support me, having me on your channel once in a while. If you haven't heard, we did start a new podcast that we're going to be doing every Friday afternoon, I think 2 p.m. Central Time. But th these next two weeks, I'm not available because we just started it and I had already made plans before I knew this was even going to exist. But after that, I think our first, my next episode with them will be February 11th. Uh, our first one was with Neon Reaper and I think in the future we're going to look into, you know, having more guests and stuff, but definitely go check that out on his channel as well. I'll link that below. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my patrons. If you'd like your own requests, you can join my Patreon, join my channel membership, or go to my website that's always linked below. And I put my requests to new artists on my second channel, Wave Potter Discovers. This channel is for my regular recurring artists and artists that are already very well established on YouTube and the reaction community and everything. So that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Pound like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and ring that buddy bell, and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs>